center of the universe and the Thrive15.com World Headquarters. Let's go! Presenting the world's only business school without the BS with optometrist and entrepreneur Dr. Robert Zellner and the former Small Business Administration Entrepreneur of the Year in your ear, Clay Clark. It's the Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. Three, two, one. Tulsa and welcome back. I hope you're excited. You just celebrated Halloween. You went out there with your kids. You went door to door. You said, knock, knock. Who's there? I'm an adult and I'm looking for some candy. You did that last night and now you've recuperated. You're on a sugar high and you're here listening to the Thrive Time Show on your drive time home. It's Tulsa's only local business radio show. The place that you go for your daily dojo of mojo. Fo show. My name is Clay Clark, the former SBA Entrepreneur of the Year in your ear and i am joined here with the co-host with the most miss sharita bent how are you hey hey i'm wonderful and i have the love of my life the love of my life the the, the the queen the 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 really the lady she's she's my life coach yep, miss yep. vanessa clark my wonderful wife how are you great glad to be here some of you say why is she on the show i thought this was a business show is this a <laughs> marriage show what kind of show is this the thing is we want you to have a successful life Yep. And the life requ- requires to have success in the F5s, which is faith, which is family, which is finances, which is fitness and friendships, you know, and you got to be able to figure all that out. And that's what we talk about on this show. It's, 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 it's kind of your self-help dojo of mojo. Now, what we're talking about here is we're talking today. We have kind of a short show. We only have an hour of power today because it's Tuesday. But we're talking about the five principles for learning how to get your team to get things done. Perhaps you're asking, perhaps, you, it, 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 do you need to listen to today's show? Well, I'll tell you what, do, do you have big dreams, but you struggle turning those dreams into reality? Does your, does your team ever struggle to get things done? Have you been waiting for two weeks for your web guy just to respond to a freaking email? <laughs> are you, can, you, can, you not, can you not find the passwords? You know, are, are, are your digital files completely disorganized? If that is you, then today is the show for you. So principle number one is it's going to be hard mm. it's going to be hard to get your team to get things done now miss sharita we have a notable quotable yeah and i would like for you to just bring a a a, a magical uh a voice of choice to the magical microphone just just give us this notable quotable i'm gonna hear ta- i'm gonna take notes because it's kind of a long one yeah but please read us this notable quotable from ben horowitz the yeah. guy who built a one billion dollar company he sold to Hewlett Packard. His name is Ben Horowitz. Go ahead and read us his notable quote. Yes, gladly. Um, Ben Horowitz says, every time I read a management or self-help book, I find myself saying, that's fine, but that wasn't really the hard thing about that situation. The hard thing isn't setting a big, hairy, audacious goal. The hard thing is laying people off when you miss the big goal. Time out. Time out. So some of you have been going to those Tony Robbins seminars. (laughs) Now, you went to the first one. It was helpful. Helped you have a breakthrough. Helped you have a moment. But now... You're sitting there saying to yourself, I've gone to every Tony Robbins seminar, and I have heard that deep voice. I've seen his beautiful teeth. I've walked on the hot coals, and all I want to do right now is I want to learn how to make actual money. I am motivated, and I don't want to join an MLM. I want to know how to make some freaking money with my actual business. I have, I'm a tile guy. I own a tile company, and I want to know how to do it. And all I keep hearing is Tony Robbins saying, oh walk God. on coals. <laughs> do you know what just happened here? We had a breakthrough. And then randomly, this massive man curses. His stem is Tony Robbins, and he says, are you ready to have a boop and breakthrough? And I'm not ready to have a boop and breakthrough. What I want to do is I want to learn specific oh action items. Gosh. Keep going. So, you, so, the thing is, so the thing, the hard thing about hard things is it's not hard to have the big idea. Even though that's what Tony would have you to believe, and it's very financially lucrative for him to say that. Tony, I love you, except I disagree with 90% of what you're saying. But keep going. The voice, the voice. (laughs) The rest of the quote, it says, the hard thing isn't hiring great people. The hard thing is when those great people develop a sense of entitlement and then start demanding unreasonable things. Positive. Pause. Now, Tony Robbins would have you, he would say to this, The reason why your people aren't motivated is because you're not getting into their core. 
But if you would truly take the time to walk on coals and to do trust falls and to take them to some sort of weird life coaching camp on a, on a tropical beach somewhere, they would be motivated. But at the end of the day, some people just don't do their job because, according to the U.S. Chamber, if you Google this, go ahead and Google it. Challenge me. We have Karina in the studio for the first time. She's hey, in the hey. man cave visiting <laughs> Miss Karina. You can Google this. It's true. If you Google CBS News and then the U.S. Chamber, CBS News, U.S. Chamber, employee theft, the article's called Are You Blind to It? Mm. You will discover that 75% of people steal from the workplace when oh. not being monitored. Yes. So now you realize you had a big dream yeah. and you're trying to execute it and people aren't doing it. And Ben Horowitz, who's a billionaire, mm. and by the way, he's not making billions as a charlatan who runs around teaching you how to have success as a result of a <laughs> transformative mindset. He's actually a guy who has had success building a real company called Opsware. Oh. He's going, the hard thing is getting people to actually do the thing, right? Yeah. Keep going, Shark. Oh, the voice kills me. Sorry. The hard thing isn't setting up an organizational chart. The hard thing is getting people to communicate within the organization that you just designed. Oh. The hard thing isn't dreaming big. The hard thing is waking up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat when the dream turns into a nightmare. So that is the it's real. Like that voice that you keep. <laughs> that's doing the real. T- that's my Tony <laughs> Robbins voice. I can't imitate him. His voice is so deep. He's so massive. He's just so, he's just in. And so the only way I can do it is I had to come up with my own effect that I created. I <laughs> mixed it, it down. It. And now I can just sound like Tony Robbins anytime I want to. And then he, what do you do? If you're Tony Robbins, you start to clap and you start to, everybody, are you ready to get successful? Are you ready? Are you ready? And you go, somebody in this room right now, someone right now, I'm not sure who it is, but somebody is in need of a breakthrough. Oh, it's our producer, Eric. You're in need of a breakthrough. Let me ask you, you uh, you have a dad, a mom? Do you have a mom or a dad? Were you ever born? Do you, were you born? You were born. Okay, so you were born, and your father, I'm, I'm picturing a father who was, uh, uh, he was there for you. He wasn't there for you. He was. He was. He was. He was there. Or well, he sometimes he was and wasn't. And what you want to learn is, oh my gosh, I'm coming down there. And he walks out there and just watch it on Netflix. It makes me sick. Unbelievable. <laughs> so I'm walking on hot calls with Tony Robbins. All right. So we're moving on here. So next, the next thing is, if you are going to get things done, principle number one. If you're going to get things done, understand it's going to be hard. But I'm going to give you three action items that you can do if you actually own a business or want to. And according to Forbes, if you Google it, Forbes says that 57% of the people surveyed want to own a business at some point. That's you. Secretly, you're working somewhere, and at some point, you want to own a business. And if you're in a car with two people, one of you wants to. At some point, you secretly have a vision. So what happens is... Hey, I have one thing. Yeah, go for it. I feel like this principle, um, because saying it's going to be hard, especially that we live in a society so full of conveniences that we all, you know, appreciate... um, I think people don't, you think they get surprised when they find out how hard it is? So, Vanessa, you've been married to me for, I don't know, 15 years, you know, approximately. I mean, and we, we've been married. We started the business together in the dorm room. Yes. And it was hard. It, it was, was tough. hard. It was very hard. Yes. You have the floor. How hard was it? You know, it, it was everything. We put everything into the business and then we did it together. We went to shows together. We booked things together. I worked a job, and the money I made would go into the business. So she worked at Office Depot, where she was the copy center queen. I remember that. She was That's rocking right. it. And, um, but you know what? I think the thing to remember is it's going to be hard, but if you can do the steps, what I always remembered is you can do a hard thing for a period of time. I always remembered it's a season. This is not forever. Mm-hmm. And to get you to the goal. But you will be in it forever if you're not going to take the action steps needed. Quick time out. A little context here for you. Twitter. Twitter, if you Google Twitter, Google it tonight. I challenge you. Google Twitter and find out how long it took them to become profitable. I'll give you a little hint. It once was called Odeo. Odeo. O-D-E-O. Odeo. And it took them, I don't want to give it away. We'll just say, uh, was it a year? No. Was it two years? No. Was it three years? No. Was it four years? No. Was it five years? I don't want to give it away. But it took them a while to be successful. Oh, by the way, Walt Disney took him almost 20 years to make a profit. Mm. So it's hard, but the thing is, you will never get out of that that struggle unless you implement a proven system, which we are going to teach you, Vanessa. Well, I think that's one thing that was key. You had read already so many books, uh, leadership books and business books. Really, it started from the time we got married. And so even though we knew it was a season and we were geared up for that, 
We knew it was a long season. We were looking at 10 years out. 10 years, uh, baby. I, I, remember, I remember that. I know we've been years. married for 15 years now. But um, I, you, people have got to have a realistic um, expectation and be ready, be okay with it. Yeah, and so what happens is I'm going to give you these moves, and they're just they're simple for me to say. Like, they're just very few words for me to say. But then to do it, it's hard. You know what I mean? Yeah. So one is a mystery shopper. And I'm going to pick on Karina because she's here. So she can hear me, but you can't hear her thriver. So it's kind of fun. But we have mystery shoppers. Yeah. And today we had two, I think, that came in, right? We had two that came in. And one was positive and one was not so positive. And every time, every time that we send in a mystery shopper, what happens is that whenever we get a great review, that's a, by the way, a mystery shopper is someone you're paying to utilize your product or service and to give you real feedback. Mm -hmm. So we had one person who's like positive. They're like, it's the best experience ever. I loved it so much. It was so good. <laughs> yeah. And everyone's like, yeah, yes, this is what we're talking. People are just feeling good. And then the next one, it's like, uh, people were up there at the front desk uh, talking negatively about the beverage selection. And and everyone's like, that wasn't me. That was not me. I would never <laughs> be me. Not even the people I know. I would. This Sounds person. like our kids. And that's what happens is. <laughs> yeah. And so the thing is, is that a mystery shopper, you're paying them to give you the truth. Now, the, mm. the, 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 the thing about truth, which is hard, is that the truth really upsets people that... Um, they can't handle the truth. So people who are not doing their job properly hate the truth. Mm. So let's think about it. If you're back in the society where people, we're all farmers, we're farmers. The one farmer who's sowing seeds has a lot of crops. You know, he's, he's, he's has a lot of crops because he's sowing seeds, right? The other guy, he's not sowing any seeds at all, you know, and it comes to harvest time and he has no crops. And he's thinking, well, it's got to be a vast right-wing conspiracy. It's got to be big oil. It's got to be the economy. It's got to be the way I was raised. It's got to be the family I was raised. That's why I'm not successful. But really, it's because he didn't sow any seeds. When we come back, we're going to be teaching you these specific action items for principle number one. It's going to be hard. You're listening to The Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. All right, Thrive Nation, welcome back to the Inspiration Conversation, where we talk about how to start and grow a business. It's The Thrive Time Show on your drive time home. You see, many of you right now, you're in your vehicle. It's a Tuesday, and you're, you're driving home, and you're going, yes, the political fatigue has set in. <laughs> I am 100% aware of how I'm voting, how I'm not. I mean, I guess I'll sneak peek a little, you know, secret little scandal that just came out about one of the candidates. But really, I am ready to be done with the politics because I kind of want to sneak just one more scandalous video. But the thing is, I am I know how I'm going to vote, and I'm looking for uh, uh, really some practical training. I'm looking for how to start or grow a business. I'm looking for that knowledge that you just, that practical stuff. And so we're talking today about the five principles for learning how to get your team to get things done. And as always, we are, we're always here joined with a, a, a variety of awesome people. But today we have a co-host with the Mo Oast, Miss Sharita Bent. How are you? I'm wonderful. And we have my wonderful wife, a.k.a. The Truth Cannon. <laughs> the Truth Cannon. <laughs> my um, new name. Miss Vanessa Clark. How are you, Bird? Great. Thank you. Her real nickname is Bird, just so we're clear. Bird. <laughs> Bird. Bird is the word. Okay, so we're talking about this, this first principle, which is it's going to be hard. And we were talking about how, one, you have to have a mystery shopper because when you have a mystery shopper, you, you pay that person to come in and give you candid feedback about the products and services. You literally want to hire, you mean, I have to hire somebody who buys my products? Yes, because when you do it, they will give you real feedback. And I'm going to tell you what, if you don't pay the person to give you real feedback, let's role play. Here's a situation. So, Sharita. Uh, Vanessa and I are going out to dinner with you and your husband. Sure. So he's not here, which is, makes it kind of a weird analogy. Yeah. But, but the, the other three of us, he's just silent. O'Neill yeah. is not talking. Yeah, he's here. So we go out to dinner, and the waitress walks up, and she goes, how was the meal tonight? And I go, oh, it was, it was, it was good. It was great. It was great. And she goes, really? That's great. I'm glad to hear it. And she, here's your check. So then I get out in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do this. I'm sure you wouldn't, drivers. You would never do this. But I would say... Oh my gosh, wasn't that food terrible? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, wasn't that food terrible? Vanessa, wasn't that terrible? Oh my gosh. It was bad. I mean, it was like, I mean, are you kidding me? That steak was like rubber. Oh no. You know, <laughs> and then Sharita and Sharita's like, hey, maybe you should have told him if you weren't happy because she's the honest person. But yeah, I'm like, tell him. no, I'm not telling him. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to talk about it now. Yeah. And then now, you're not coming back either. Here's checking out. I'm mm. going to get on my cell phone because I'm a high quality human. I'm going to let people know. 
Hotline bling. I'm going to let them know I'm on my cell phone. I'm on my smartphone, which allows me to be dumb. But I'm on my smartphone, <laughs> and I'm on there. I'm going to write a bad Google review because they deserve to know. Yeah. The consumer needs to know. Now, meanwhile, the business owner is oblivious to the negative feedback until they ch- 